What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, we'll be talking about the disconnect bug or issue that could be happening with you in Forza Horizon 5. So currently, this is an issue that the developers are currently looking into and have acknowledged as far as I understand, but it could be something on your side as well, so it's worthwhile trying to see if you can fix it or not. In this video, we'll be trying a couple of general fixes that could help debug internet connection issues and stop you disconnecting so much from Forza Horizon 5. So to begin, let's start off by changing our DNS server. For Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S, etc., this process is going to be different and I won't be able to cover it here. But if you're on Windows, press Start and open up the Windows settings by clicking the cogwheel icon. In here, we'll be heading into Network and Internet, then we'll click Change Adapter Options. This will open up the old window over here and we'll be able to right-click on our way that we're connected to the Internet. For me, it's this connection over here. I'll right-click, click Properties, and look for TCP IPv4. After selecting it, I'll click Properties, and then we'll see this screen here. So we can obtain DNS server automatically, which is likely checked for you, or we can set one ourselves. I like to use 8.8.8.8, .8 which I can simply go to the next dot by pressing spacebar, or of course 1.1.1.1, which is Cloudflow. 8.8.8.8 .8 is Google's and 8.8.4.4 .4 is Google's alternate DNS server. I usually have it this way around as I get less ping to 1.1 instead of 8.8. .8. After entering these, select Validate Settings upon Exit, click OK and Close. It'll then quickly see if things are working properly and if it says it couldn't identify an issue, awesome, it worked properly. Now that we've changed our DNS, it's a good idea to flush out everything that could be left there from before. Hit start, type in CMD, and then click run as administrator when we have command prompt selected. Inside of this new window here, we'll be typing in ipconfig space slash flush DNS and hit enter. Then we'll hit up to go to the previous command, control backspace to get rid of the previous word, and we'll type in ipconfig once again, slash register DNS, hit enter, up once again, control backspace, forward slash release, up control backspace, forward slash renew, and then net sh winsock reset as such. Now, all we have to do is reboot our computer and things should be working properly, or at least hopefully. You'll find those commands down in the description below as well, if you'd like to copy and paste them instead. Do you remember that this game is still close to release, so there will be a couple of issues, and this is definitely one of them, especially because they've already noticed it and made note of it. And finally, it's a good idea to whitelist Forza manually in your firewall and or antivirus's firewall. I use ESET, so I'll have to go ahead and whitelist it in there. But if you're using the default Windows firewall, head start, type in firewall, and we'll click allow an app through Windows firewall. Upon doing so, we'll see this screen here. I'll click change settings and then click yes if prompted for admin, and we'll simply scroll all the way down to F where we're looking for Forza Horizon 5. There we go. As you can see, it's got two tick boxes next to it, meaning it is allowed to access the internet, so things should be working properly. If you don't see it, you'll need to click allow another app, then add the app from the list, or click browse and navigate to it manually. So at this point, I'm not too sure what could be causing it. I have flushed my DNS and changed my DNS, so a restart should get things working properly. Otherwise, I'm definitely affected by the bug that they're currently working on fixing. Regardless, I'm gonna restart now and get into playing some Forza Horizon 5. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.